previously on Falcon Beach. What's the job? Sabotage the marina. Courtney says you haven't been out wakeboarding much this summer. Yeah, my knee's still a bit wonky. You've been invoicing Oasis for your own fake company. This is embezzlement. This is me covering my ass. Why would you do this? Dad's broke, Paige. We're just being a little creative with our bridge financing, that's all. You've had me out there selling your lies. We're about to make a lot of people a lot of money. No one has to get hurt. I wanted to make sure you were OK with this, uh, this Courtney thing. Yeah, I'm OK. This is private property. Actually, the bank owns it, Jason. Soon I will. I'm just looking around to see what I can salvage before I tear it down. Hey. So, any strong feelings about fondue? Fondue? Well, you know, bread, melted gruyere, a magical shared dining experience. Well, I can make that happen with two grilled cheese sandwiches. <laughs> yeah, you're old class. I've been thinking about winter. You really want to stay in Falcon Beach? Where else would I go? Well, you know, I'll be on the other side of the Atlantic, and you'll be here, and well, I'm all for space and relationship. Uh, you can come visit me. That's one option. I'll take you ice fishing. Oh, well, hold me back. You and I have a good thing, right? Sure. Well, I'd be ashamed to go our separate ways. Exactly when did we stop talking about fondue? We haven't, really. It's a ticket to Switzerland. I want you to come spend winter with me. Get a free ride. You know, Switzerland, snow, try to keep up. I'll be right back. I know a resort owner in Laysen. It's a job there waiting for you. Thanks. I'm not exactly fluent in Swiss. <laughs> French. That either. Well, someone has to teach the English tourists how to snowboard. <laughs> Tell Jason he needs to broaden his horizons. Give up all this? What was that about? I invited him to spend the winter with me. In Switzerland? What did he say? He didn't say no, but mulled wine in a chalet or slushies at Salty's. You guys are getting serious. <laughs> Please. Serious leads to, you know, wrinkles and Botox. Hey, there you are. Sorry, I'm already late. That's all right, don't worry. Come sit down. Hello, Courtney. Hi, Mr. Bradshaw. Whistling? Well, we're about to close the contract on the marina. We can begin construction. I think it's definitely an occasion for whistling, don't you? Angie's due at 5 tomorrow with the bank report. We want to order some champagne for that. And Paige, why don't you get to work on a press release? And how about a cake? We could have one made in the shape of the marina. Cut it up and eat it. <laughs> don't be an idiot. Don't be so tight. Don't bicker. No sugar. Jason, could you get me some more coffee, please? It's nice to see you back on your horse. Start from the bottom, work your way up, right? Thanks, I'll try and remember that. Oh, come on. Surprise. Hi. I didn't want you to think I was avoiding you. Were you? Pretty much. Adrian, what I feel for you Don't is... do this. Why? Because I don't want to hear the Just Friends speech. 
I wasn't going to give the Just Friends speech. <clears throat> I know things are messy with me and Lane, but what you and I did, how you've treated me, it feels good. It feels easy. Should I mind being called easy? All I'm asking for is some time to sort things out. Meaning what? I'm going to end things with Lane. <sighs> this ankle thing is totally cramping my day. You seemed to be walking fine earlier. Well, Dr. Keeper said to keep it iced and elevated as much as possible. There's some frozen berries in the freezer. That would be great. No, stay. I'll get it. Thank you. Aren't press releases kind of like cookie cutters? You just take the last one you wrote, change a few words, print it on a new letterhead, and voila. Yeah, just like that. How would you know anyway? I took a business class in high school. Well, how much longer are you going to work on that? Well, so far, I've taken the last press release I wrote, changed the dates, and a few keywords. <laughs> Paige, hmm. what's the problem? I don't know. Uh, press releases are supposed to be so yay team. I'm just not in a very cheery headspace. Well, come on my boat. We'll chill. Now I have to finish this. Where are you going? To the club. Maybe good coffee will inspire me to finish. Help yourself to the frozen fish. Aren't you done with that board yet? Man, I'm losing consciousness. Yeah, I'm almost done. These modified fins really give me better transfer. Yeah, well, let's get out there and use them. Now maybe my knee won't give out of me on the jumps. So, uh... Courtney wants me to go to Switzerland with her for the winter. What? Since when? She's got it all figured out. Lined up some job at a ski resort. That's great. Are you going? It's Switzerland. Right. She's got that paralyzing fear of cuckoo clocks. No. I mean, we're good together. I, I like being with her. You know, we have fun. Rich. She's gorgeous. Totally hot for you. Plus, it would be great for me to get out and see the world. Yeah, sounds like a terrible time. It's not that. It's just it's happening so fast, you know? I'd be moving in with her. You'd be taking a shared vacation together in the Alps. The worst thing that could happen is that you'd be spending the winter with someone you really, really like. I'm going to be off at college. The marina is going to be bulldozed. Do you really want to stick around here and plow snow? And I don't want that guy setting foot in this office. I just want him outside on the construction site where he belongs. Yes, the counselor's online. Officer Palmer. It's a busy day for Oasis. Perhaps I could interest you in a condo. We just got a forensics report back on the marina sabotage. You guys work at lightning speed. We found your fingerprints on the lockbox lane. Um, I'm sorry, the what? It held the keys to the gas tank. Now, I've been using my imagination and I have some ideas, but I thought I'd ask you, is there any reason your fingerprints would be there? Oh, uh, no, not that I can think of. Hmm. Oh, except around the time we were looking at a partnership with the Tanners. And? And I spent some time checking out our potential investment. Yep, going through the inventory, I must have left my fingerprints all over the place. That's interesting. You think the Tanners will confirm this? I showed myself around. <laughs> but, uh, Tanya Shedden was with me. Look, just stay on schedule. That's all I'm asking. All right. All right. What was that about? Oh, nothing. Parking tickets. You know, back at the office, we have these amazing innovations, like, uh, like desks. It's quieter here. 
we're at the finish line. Can't, can't you feel that, that rush of victory? Must be a lawyer thing. Well, then it's time you joined in on the fun, Bradshaw. <laughs> you feel it, Bradshaw? <laughs> I feel it. Are you a winner? I'm huh? a winner. Yay. Which makes someone else the loser. It's the law of the jungle. Not only will Oasis Resorts raise the profile of the Falcon Beach area, but it stands behind its commitment to employ local workers. That doesn't sound like anybody loses. I guess not. Then will you, will you lighten up a little? Let's practice feeling victorious, OK? OK. I didn't think you got my message. Thanks for coming. I. Palmer sniffing around. What? Just dumb luck. He's trying to pin the marina sabotage on me. Marina. Oh, uh, back when we were trying to buy it, I was poking around. I probably touched a few things I shouldn't have, and now he thinks I was the one who blew it up. But you weren't. No. No. Tanya, I swear to you, I didn't do it, OK? I wasn't even near the place on that night. But I, uh, I told Palmer you were with me when I was looking around. You what? Well, I needed someone to corroborate my story, baby. You have to understand, I have to get Palmer off my back. Look, I killed someone, Tanya. I can't have the cops asking questions. Don't you think I've done enough for you now you dumped this on me? I know. I know. Please. We have to stick together, you and I. I need you. place in Switzerland. How much you pay for hot water? I don't know. Why? Oh. If I'm going to be spending all that time teaching tourists how to snowboard, I'm going to want some really long, hot showers. You're coming. I'm coming. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, well, we tried everything. This beach used to be for everybody, and now it's all segregated? Great job! Really great! Danny! How's it over on your side? Because over here it feels like we lost half our beach! Look, all right, it's a done deal. I mean, she can't change anything now. Let's just hit the water and blow off some steam. There's no point hanging around here. There's too many to board here anyway. Where's that number? What do you know about the fence? The one at the beach? There's a problem? We're jumping the gun. Nothing's official until tomorrow night. Yeah, but sweetheart, we're already behind on the construction schedule. We can't afford to waste any more time. Signing's a formality. Not for the people who live here. That fence is either going up today, tomorrow, or the next day. That's just the name of the game right now, OK? Yeah, Bill, Trevor, Bradshaw. OK. Don't. We're about to I know it's tough, but you can't be sentimental and successful. You're starting to sound like a motivational team. That are my father. Hey, Trip is doing some amazing things here. Do you like what he's doing, or do you just like winning? Nathan, Nathan, come, let's go. How about we get you on the speakerphone right now with Nathan? We can do it now.
Tanya Shedden? Tanya, it's Officer Palmer. I need to ask you a few questions. Tanya. Tanya? Is anybody home? Hey. Paige. Um, come in. You, uh, you looked rather great. You saw me? Yeah. Yeah, I totally lost it on that last trick. The board's still too grippy. Ooh, yikes, I hate a grippy board. Nothing worse. Makes it hard to do my whirly face back grabs. <laughs> that must be one of your custom tricks, huh? Yeah, you probably haven't heard of it. Oh, strangely, no. Anyway, I, uh, I just wanted to say it was really great to see you back out there. Thanks. You thinking about competing again? I love how I feel out on the water, but you know, first place doesn't matter like it used to. Do what makes you happy, right? I used to think first place meant happiness. Me too. But uh, I lost a lot this summer. But things are still okay. I'm glad. Do you want something to drink? Oh, uh, no, I'm good. So I'm going to Switzerland. You are? Yeah. It'll be fun. Well, congratulations. Absolutely. What I'm wanting now is if the layers are coming down here, is it eccentric? Hey, sure. Dr. Keeper was here looking for you. Such a lovely man. I do like him. Yeah, he's nice and clean. Just give me a sec, Ange. You had another visitor this morning, Officer Palmer. Any reason why he should be checking in? Um, no, not that I can think of. Better not be. Notice my knee out there, man. Are you kidding me? You rocked. You sure you don't want to get back on the pro circuit? Uh, I'm gonna make a few calls, but I'm not gonna compete. I made a deal with myself when I was out there. Land that jump. And? I'm gonna start looking a little further ahead than the next wave. with the bank tonight. Oh, I forgot to buy champagne. Oh, I think there's some here. Your father laid a couple bottles in last year. Might as well get his money's worth. Let's see. Aha. Uh -huh. Voila. Great, thank you. Um, I actually wanted to talk to you about something, and I have no idea how, so... 
I'm just going to come out and say it. Michael asked me to spend some time in the Mediterranean with him, and I said, yes. Okay. Wow. Yeah. I'm sure that you would rather I be with your father, but... No, uh, I'm... Um, do whatever makes you happy, right? This sounds meaningful. Mom's going to the Mediterranean with Michael. Oh, well, whatever floats your boat. He does make you happy? He does. Well, then that's all I need to hear. Who? Who? I'm not quite sure, Elaine. Is that approval or disapproval? It's approval, but it won't say anything as nauseating as Paige. And no group hugs. <laughs> Told Lane about us? Not exactly. Well, it's complicated. He treats you like crap and you keep going back for more. How is that complicated? There's more to it than meets the eye. We're bonded by something. It's called codependence. Okay. I didn't really want to come by the office. I can't imagine why not. <laughs> Look, um, what do you know about patents? As in patent leather shoes, or as in I've become a mad inventor? <sighs> the last one. Well, what's going on? Well, I've got someone coming by to look at my board. Actually, it's Alex. I'm wave crashing. Oh, the man-eater. Yeah. Well, hopefully she'll have fed before she gets here. Well, that's great about the board. Yeah, I've been thinking about it for a while, but uh, I just I want to get ripped off, you know? Well, uh, you can file online without a lawyer, and you'd want to cut a future sales, not just a straight buyout. Plus, there's marketing. Right. You know, we could uh, jump on the computer, check the stuff out. Okay, you got time before work? Yeah. I'm feeling reckless. Party I didn't know about. Not possible. Keep the vigil. Right. For what? Oh, beach. Town. Everything's changed. I want to remember Falcon Beach the way it was. Oh, I can dig that. You seen Jason? Ah, uh, no, I think he's uh, trying to revolutionize the world of water sports. He's trying to market his wakeboard. Didn't say anything to me. You're late, young lady. I had things to do. That was a joke. What's going on with you? Nothing. You're not even curious who sent you the flowers? Was it you? Yeah. Well, they're lovely. Yesterday, it felt like we argued. Oh, so they're guilt flowers. Sure, they could be if I knew what it was I was supposed to feel guilty about. In town, I'm the person who's put a fence down their beach. When I come back to work, I still feel like an outsider. That's crazy. Then why do you keep siding with my father? I don't. Lately, you do. It's me arguing one thing and everyone else here arguing the other. Look, Paige, you're, you're an idealist, and that's your charm. But I'm a realist, and, and, and sometimes we have to make sacrifices for the greater good. Well, who's good? Ours? What about the people who live here? The people whose dreams are built on lies and subterfuge? Has Lane been talking to you? Because Lane doesn't understand all the inner workings of this company. But you do. You knew what my father was doing with company finances, how he didn't have the money he said he did. You knew from the start. Paige, there are things I don't want to know, and I advise you... You advise me? What, are you my boyfriend or my father's lawyer? Then again, maybe there isn't a difference to you. <sighs> Turn my back for a second, you go all entrepreneur on me. Danny, fill me in. 
I'm just trying to look ahead, you know, keep my options open. I thought we'd agreed on Switzerland because, um, I like you, Jason, a lot. I like you too. And we're still on for fun, too. This is just seasoning. Well, delicious. Mm, you must be this summer's girlfriend. And you must be here for a restorative holiday. Uh, Alex. This is Gordon. Hi. Alex is from Wave Crasher, the wakeboarding people. Hmm? Well, nice to meet you, Alex from Wave Crasher. There's a thing down at the beach. I'll see you there later. Right. <clears throat> After the Nationals, we didn't think we'd hear from you again. Uh, I got busy. And you got unemployed. These board modifications better be something special. They are. Laying the trick you missed at Nationals, and I'll believe it. Last I heard, you weren't up to scratch. I guess you got some bad information. We'd like to arrange some publicity shots this evening once we've signed with the bank. My boys won't be so keen on making the drive just for that. Drive? They're not local? No. We're from the city. But, I mean, Oasis is supposed to be working with local contractors. This is lucky we undercut them on their bid. No, no, no. Three. Three go to Mikey. Tres? local construction firms were supposed to be bolstering the local economy. Well, their bids were too high. It's not our fault. Do you support this? We need to be cost effective. Look, Paige, you know, you got to start making business decisions and stop making emotional ones. Keeping the locals employed is good business. Just got to stop thinking with your heart and start thinking with your head. Did you do the modifications yourself? Oh, well, yeah, it's a prototype, but... Thanks. If I had access to the proper equipment. Well, you nailed that trick. So, you gotta be doing something right. Yeah, well, my knee was giving me some troubles after Nationals, so I put a rib down the middle and then I sanded down the tip and tip. Softer landing. And smoother transfer. There we go. And uh, then I modified the fins. It's impressive. Very impressive. Everything okay? Yeah, fine. You know, we got lemonade, the uh, healthy, just like mommy's snake guy. I can handle one beer. I'm working on it as we speak. All right. <sighs> Sorry, Paige. The guys could have a backup plan. It came as soon as I could. Are we still arguing? Because flowers twice in one day looks desperate. I'm the one who should be apologizing. I haven't been honest with you. No? I've been pretending I can 
be the person you want. You are who I want. I'm not. You like my job and, and my family and the idea of the future we might have. You're putting words in my mouth. Nathan, my father committed fraud. That eats away at me, but it doesn't bother you. Alleged fraud. I want to be with someone who believes in something. Break up, fine. I just hope those impossibly high standards keep you warm at night. See you later. Gotcha. Well, that's definitely worth seeing. Okay. Well, leave it with me. Okay. So they want to see the board. I'm gonna take it for a couple days and... Want to copy the changes? No, I don't think so. You want the board, you buy the patent, and you give me a cut of every sale. Someone's been lurking around the business section of the bookstore. I just know what I'm worth. Apparently. All right, give me a few hours. No promises. Hey! You have to see this. <laughs> And cue the model! More hips, Melissa! Let's see if we're those hips! Yes, I love it! All right, I gotta have more faith! And more sparkle now! Is it hot out here, or is it just you? Call the slurp, Falcon! Everything okay here? You guys behave yourselves. Sonia. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You mind answering a few questions? Sure. <clears throat> Great. A couple of months ago, you recall a visit to the marina? I recall a lot of visits. Of course. This was just before the explosion. You were with Lane Bradshaw? Yeah, sure. Lane was checking the place out for his father. OK. So can you tell me, uh, is there any reason that he checked out the lockbox? It held the key to the gas tank. That's where we found his fingerprints. I don't remember. OK. So where were you the night of the marina explosion? Are you accusing me of something? Just because Lane has an alibi for that night doesn't mean he's innocent of sabotaging the marina. You see, he could have hired somebody. He paid them to do his dirty work. I was at home with my mother. A lot of that going around. Thank you for your time. Checks and invoices, all prepped. Just need a signature. Thanks. What you're doing here, I can't be a part of it. Not anymore. I quit. She won't change her mind. Paige is as stubborn as you. <laughs> well, 
what about Nathan? Isn't he supposed to be here by now? What's a holdup? Well, good work, Lane. <laughs> I'm really proud of what you've done here with me. Sorry. I have to deal with this. Hello. I can't believe I was so stupid. Why did I not put it all together? Keep your voice down. I swear to you, I didn't do it. Which is true. You hired Mook. And when he came to collect, you killed no, him. No, that's not how it happened. It was self-defense. What about, about the marina? Was that self-defense, too? Help the big, scary marina is attacking me. I've been drinking. So? That's not such a big deal. It's not like sabotage or murder. You know that I'm not a bad person. You have done nothing but use me and lie to me. Ugh, God, here's some news. I slept with Adrian. And I'm not sorry. Because he's kind and gentle. He's a better man. You slept with Adrian? It doesn't matter. We're through. Okay? Through. It's a standard contract. Done similar deals in the past, with a straight buyout of the design. And a cut of all the sales. The board takes off. That could prove to be very lucrative. This is fun. Well, I think you got something special. We want to get our hands on it before the competition. Oh, uh... There's a typo. No, that's not a typo. That's what we're offering. Just gonna make a quick phone call. Long-term earning potential. This is good money. Enough to put the property back in Tanner hands. Oh, come on. Don't be ridiculous. Even in the notice of a foreclosure, the original owners can make good before sale. I don't recall having paid for you to study real estate law, Paige. Either way, it doesn't matter. It's too late. Tear it up. What? You heard me. Having left our employee page, perhaps you've forgotten that this document gets us the marina, which gets us the resort. Tear it up, or you'll regret it. You be very careful right now, Paige. You have two choices. You either lose the resort this way, or lose it when I decide to start talking. About your creative methods of financing. Oh, you are fighting above your weight. Either way, you lose. But if you destroy that agreement, you avoid prison time. You're bluffing. You have no idea what I'm capable of. Not anymore. 
people are gonna get hurt, Paige. They're already getting hurt. But here's the dilemma. Who to call first? Your investors, the press, or the police? Oasis has changed its mind about buying the marina. Somewhere, pigs are flying. You're no longer my daughter. Did that really just happen? That really just happened. I have to call Danny. I have to call my mom. Space you. 